Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So in this video, we're going to be going through Act 8.3.1. And you can see the team that I'm going in with. You'll see why I chose that team, uh, including Gallon. All right. Now, Kabam has done something uh, new. As you might notice, or you may not have, there are only three paths. That makes it much, much faster and simpler to explore. It's not the chore that it was before. Now, some people loved it. All right, now look at the active buffs that you see here, all right? These active buffs are why I chose skill attackers. So you basically wanna go in with a skill attacker and one that has their uh, relic equipped. That's it, okay? Most of these, you don't have to worry about. You have the globals, um, which basically your six stars get an extra boost. Your seven stars get an extra boost. Um, but you can go in here with uh, five stars. Now, you see that free spirited? That lets you know that they really want you to use uh, those relics. All right. So this first fight, I'm going to go in with um, Kingpin. Now, fighting Ant-Man is very annoying at the best of times. And he has this protection on until you use your striker. All right. So I'm already not liking it. I want to bait out his special ones because they're just easier to evade. Now, if you can evade the special two with regularity, go for it. All right. But just remember, they are passively unblockable. So I find it easier to do this. Go with the striker. Now, look at that. Much, much nicer. Now, I didn't get any crits on that. That's fine. All right. Now, this time, I pushed him to a special uh, two. Go figure. Now, I evade this this way. I go all the way back. Makes it much easier. Okay. So it's not like I can't evade either of them. I just find the special one much easier to evade. All right. So you can see here I'm using my striker and then boom, doing a lot more damage. And I don't, I know that the conventional wisdom, look at the crits. Look at these crits. Nasty. That's because of the node and the uh, striker. But I know. You're supposed to spam your special ones, but I'm running the um, ouchie masteries, okay? Recoil, double edge, liquid courage. And so I don't want to really spam my specials if I can help it. All right, so that fight, first fight, down, went pretty smoothly. This is my first time in here, by the way. I haven't done any retakes or anything like that. This is my actual first run. And so far, so good. That first fight, nice warm-up, and I got it. I sometimes have a hard time with her special uh, one. All right? Sometimes. And you'll see it later on in here. Now, I evaded that one, right? But I'd rather be very close to her when she fires her special one. And I would much rather push her to her special uh, two. All right? So here we go. See? Very easy. No problem. But that special one sometimes catches me. All right? Like that. I went for, for the attack, and she countered with her special. It is what it is. All right? So here we go. And you'll notice that I did fire off a special one. All right? So I will do that, um, but I don't want to do that a lot. Because as you can see, I'm losing health. But I saw how this was going, and I'm like, okay, because I have other skill champions. So I could use him until he's gone and then just switch to another. But I'm not going to do that. All right, so here I'm just checking again to make sure that I did have the right middle, which I did. Okay. And we'll just keep on going. Uh, She-Hulk. Also has very easy specials to evade. I was evading her specials from almost day one. 
when I encountered her, that is. Not day one of the contest, but uh, the first time I encountered her, I didn't really have a problem um, evading her specials. All right, so it doesn't matter, special one or special two. We can go. The only thing that I'd be worried about is if she would not fire her special. All right, there we go. Got my striker, followed up by a special. Woo, got them crits in that time. Woo, woo. See, we don't care. Look at the crits. 20K, 35K. Just nasty. Look at that. Oh. All right, now the protection is back. So we need to bait out a special. And we also need to fire that striker off. That's where that other uh, node, the free spirited, comes into play. Because now you're going to get a lot more um, uh, spirit. So you'll ramp up and be able to use your relic faster. Now here, I kind of messed up and fired the special three because I was thinking, well, special threes don't crit. But I should have fired off my... Um, my uh, striker, and then the special three, and I probably would have finished the fight then. But didn't matter. She went down pretty quickly after that anyway, because it still uh, disabled her protection. It's just that the special three could have finished that fight. All right, now we're fighting against my boy. And so I had to bring in Hitmonkey. Had to bring him in. All right? So even though they have the protection up, Hitmonkey's still doing a little work, but that's okay. Now, what I want to do, get that striker, and now go to work. <clears throat> yeah. But now, let's bait that out. All right. Let's go. I want that special uh, two. There we go. Ba da da. Da 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 da. Kadoosh. Love it. You just have to stay away from him on his uh, special. All right, and you can see I fired my, my striker. But look at how much spirit you're getting. Um, look at that. That's a lot. So they want you to be able to fire your relic off much more often than you normally would. And that's a global. So look at this. We are just going. We're going. We're going. Look at that. Oh, yeah. Mmm. And he has those nice guaranteed crits anyway. Look at that. Nice crits. Yep. He really wanted to get me right there. Look at that. Beautiful. Beautiful hit monkey. You do that thing. That's my boy. And fun fact, I used to have one of those knives. That knife, the butterfly knife that he has, I used to have one of them uh, when I was younger. But anyway, now we got two more to fight before we get to the boss. And I'm like, okay, you know what? This seems like it's pretty straightforward. I used my hip monkey. I used Kingpin. Let's have a little fun. I brought another skill champion that I haven't used yet. My boy, Nick Fury. Now, the funny thing with Nick Fury, that protection, it will cut down some of the damage, but look at, look at Nick Fury. With the protection up, do you see that he's doing more damage than Hitmonkey was? Don't sleep on Nick Fury. And I do have, I know you want to know, uh, Deep Wounds maxed out. All right. And this is Nick Fury on his first life. Yeah, that, just so you know, when those notifications drop down, that particular game, Lord's Mobile, I have it so that it will not leave until I uh, take it up. Because in that game, I could be getting attacked by someone and I might be away from my iPad. So I don't want that to just give me the message and then leave and I come back and I have no clue. So I actually have to swipe up. So I swiped up in the middle of that fight to get that to go away. Just a little behind the scenes there. All right, here we go. Just tearing her up though. Look at that. Boom, boom. All right, we didn't want to go anymore because she would get her special three. Even though Nick Fury ain't scared of her special three. 
He's still on his first life. All right, she got that protection up, but not anymore. And there we go. Bam. That was a nice crit right there, too. Poof, poof, poof. And done. Love me some Nick Fury. I am really thinking about ascending him. Really am. Now, you may have noticed that I have Hercules on the team, but you haven't seen Hercules being used. Hmm. My Hercules is rank five. Sig 200. See? And he's ascended. But, uh, nope. No need. We went for my Hitmonkey. And now Hitmonkey's only rank four, but I already took Kingpin and I took Nick Fury to rank five. Hit monkey, my boy. If you guys have watched me in Battlegrounds, you know Hit Monkey, my boy. He's only rank four, and he's tearing up. Can you imagine him at rank five? I want to do more than imagine him at rank five, but with this new Valiant title that is coming, uh, that should date this for you guys. The Valiant title is not out yet. Paragon is the highest. Va Valiant is coming later this month and it's going to require two, I think two rank threes. I think they said I'm trying to remember if it's two rank threes or two rank twos. I think it's two rank threes. I'm not sure. Um, but in any case, it's going to involve your seven stars. You're going to have a seven star at, um, I believe rank three, two rank threes. One you can get right now with the Necropolis. The other you can get at the end of the month when we have the uh, Cyber Weekend. So that's actually pretty pretty nice because it means that for those that want to get it quick, they have a path to do that. For those like me who want to just kind of relax and get it eventually, we can you know go for the Cyber Weekend. And then we can relax, and when we are able to, we can get another one up. Now, I only have one rank two seven star currently. And yeah, he will go to rank three if I can get the right class. Because um, I believe, and I, we're skipping that note because we already have everybody we need. Um, if I can get the right class, because it's going to be uh, a random crystal. So. It'll be a class, but it may not be a class that I have a rank two in. Which means I'd have to wait, which is fine with me, because I would have to wait anyway, unless I'm planning to go through that necropolis. All right, now you're going to see why I brought Gallon. Look at the nodes. All right, you know Vulture gets the armor up, and you saw the node. Um, we showed it earlier. Look at, look at, look at Gallon ramping up. Look at Gallon ramp it up. Look at those charges. He's almost maxed out already with a few combos. He's maxed out now. All right. Now I just need to bam and then hit him with it. Poof. Now that's maxed out. So that means we're not going to be able to one shot him, but that's fine. He's a boss. So we shouldn't be able to just, you know, get one special off and finish him. So we're gonna, it's gonna take a few, but what you just saw there, wash, rinse, and repeat. That's it. So if you have gallon, this is what you want to do against this boss. All right. Now, this video is a walkthrough, as you've seen. It's not a guide. There are some better guides out there uh, that you guys can look at. KT1 has a good guide. Uh, Jason Voorhees, I don't know if he's made a guide yet on 8.3. Um, uh, uh, MCOC Noob also makes excellent guides. So you can have a guide that'll give you a better idea. Look at that. Um, a better idea of how to explore it. But for a completion, easy path, whatever, that's what this is. This was quick. Easy, simple, okay? 
Um, all you got to do is use a, a skill champion with your relic. Go to town. You saw the three that I used. There are others. You can use um, Shong Chi, but I do recommend a skill champion for that middle path. Okay. Uh, but anyway, that is going to do it, guys. Thank you all for watching the video. Feel free to hit that like button if you enjoyed it. Leave a comment. Let me know what you thought about this video. And you all have a blessed day.